Hi, um, so we're going to look at uh, some examples under uh, infinite series and um, those examples require us to find the radius as well as the interval of uh, convergence. Okay, so uh, we have looked at um, an introduction to um, what the radius as well as the interval of convergence is and how to find it. Uh, we also have looked at how these two are related and we have understood how the interval of uh, convergence depends on the radius. Okay, so the first example that we are going to look at, um, let me name it as A. Okay, so um, we are given this series. Okay, so say from n is equals to 1 to positive infinity, um, we are given a rational expression um, x plus 4 to the power n. Uh, divide by uh, divide by n multiplied by 3 to the power n okay so uh, the first thing that we have to do right now is to come up with the radius we have to determine what the radius is um, we cannot just say we will find the interval of uh, convergence without finding the radius we have to find the radius first because um, that's what the interval depends on Okay, and we understood to say um, the best method that we can use to find the radius of a series is by using the ratio test. And uh, just a recap of what the ratio test is, uh, we just basically apply it in this way. We just evaluate the limit um, as n approaches uh, as n approaches um, infinity, not zero. As n approaches infinity, then we say um, absolute value of uh, a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n like that okay so what you have right here all of this is your a sub n okay your a sub n simply means uh, sorry your a sub n plus 1 me simply means anywhere where this a, where this n you're supposed to add the 1 okay so this is going to be like x plus 4 to the power n plus 1 but for convenience sake instead of me uh, saying x plus 4 to the power n plus 1, I'm just going to multiply this by uh, x plus 4, okay? So this is the same as you just saying x plus 4 to the power n um, plus 1, but for convenience sake, you can just use that uh, this format right here instead of that one because you will need to cancel out uh, something at some certain stage, okay? So uh, that's for the numerator. Then uh, for the denominator let's look at what we have then for the denominator we have n multiplied by 3 to the power n so that's just going to be like n plus 1 okay um, n plus 1 um, multiplied by 3 to the power n I could have said 3 to the power n plus 1 but I'll just multiply this by 3 instead okay so uh, we're going to come here and say the limit um, as n approaches uh, infinity okay as n approaches infinity uh, what are we going to have um, we'll say uh, a sub n well a sub n we have already found which is this one right here so uh, let me just copy it uh, this is what we have right here so I can just bring it there okay so this one I'm supposed to say divide by what you have right here which is your a sub n so i'm just going to multiply by uh, instead of dividing i'll just multiply by the uh, reciprocal of that one which is my n multiplied by 3 to the power n divided by uh, x uh, x plus 4 to the power n and you close like that okay so now for this one uh, you observe to say you can actually cancel out this one and that you can cancel out that as well as that that is why I wanted to write it in this way it's quite easy for me when it comes to canceling out and I believe it to be easy for you as well okay so looking at what we have uh, let me try to simplify it a bit further you observe to say uh, since you're using n here instead of x okay so you can actually get this and take it on the other side of the limit as well as uh, these three right here okay so this th meaning this one can be written as I'll just write it as x plus 4 divided by divided by 3 
then uh, then we say the limit as n approaches infinity uh, of remember to say we have this n right here that's going to be our n divided by then on the denominator we have n plus 1 okay so that would be n plus 1 like that okay so if you have done a lot of these you observe to say this one is equals to 1 how do you how do you get to uh, just see to say this is equals to 1 you can actually simplify it for yourself just by dividing everything by 1 okay so meaning this can be like x plus 4 okay divide by 3 then we say the limit as n approaches infinity so when you divide uh, this n the n on the numerator by 1 by n that would be a 1 this n divided by n uh, that would be 1 plus 1 divided by n which is from this one here and you observe to say if you evaluate when you substitute with infinity there to be 1 over infinity which is actually 0 so you observe to say this just gives you what a 1 okay we get a 1 right there okay so now remember we talked about um, the the radius being this way uh, if we say x minus uh, c uh, less than r okay so in this case uh, we have something like x minus uh, we are, uh, that's a plus actually that's going that's a 4 okay then we have a 4 here then divide by 3 less than 1 now this one here I've just gotten it from uh, the evaluation from this part right here that's where I've gotten it okay so now the question is is this one the radius the answer is no that's not the radius okay so the radius is when you cross multiply by this uh, three here remember this three had absolute value symbols here so it, 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 it practically means it will not affect this symbol that we have here okay it won't affect it at all so we can just go ahead and uh, do the cross multiplication so you observe to say this is going to be like absolute value of um, x plus 4 uh, less than less than 3 so in this case we are we have found that our radius is equals to 3 so this is our radius our radius is equals to 3 okay so now let's go ahead and find the interval of uh, convergence okay so we can get actually get rid of uh, the absolute value uh, signs okay meaning we can uh, we are going to have negative 3 on the other side that would be negative 3 less than x plus 4 less than less than 3 and this has come as a result of me getting rid of those absolute value symbols there okay so now we just want to, we just want to remain with x on on this part here so meaning you can subtract 4 on both sides okay so when you subtract 4 on this side you're going to get negative 7 less than x less than when you subtract 4 from this side you're going to get negative 1 okay so that's the interval that we get but is it the actual one okay is it the actual one what I mean is this there are times when um, it's just like this and there are times when you have to do you have to test the endpoints and I think I talked about it in the in the introductory video okay so you have to test the endpoints so in this case uh, what I'm trying to say is maybe like we have we have kind of like um, we have the we have three we have four possible solutions actually not even three so the first one okay the first one is that we are going to have seven less than or equal to x less than or equal to negative one the second uh, possibility is that we're going to have minus seven less than or equal to x less than negative one the third one is minus seven less than x less than negative one the fourth one is minus seven less than x less than or equal to negative one so among these three there's one that is true so you should not just see this then you confirm to say that's your final answer no you might get it wrong so you have to see it from uh, from among those and the way in which you are you're going to confirm which one is correct is if you test the endpoints okay so now uh, we have negative seven um, and negative one so let's try out those so you're just supposed to uh, substitute in that so you're going to say you're going to evaluate the limit you say the limit as n approaches 
infinity uh, where there's x here let me start with negative 7 if you plug in negative 7 here that would be minus 7 plus 4 giving you minus 3 to the power to the power n like that okay the power n um, then what else do you have divide by uh, divide by n to the power th n multiplied by 3 to the power n like that okay so what do we have okay so let's say we put them we, we put them uh, we put them in those uh, absolute value symbols there let's see what you're going to get okay so actually maybe before I, I before I even do this I can simplify this for myself by writing in this way I can write as the limit um, as n approaches positive infinity so here I'm going to write negative 1 to the power n okay to the power n multiplied by 3 to the power n divide by n to the n multiplied by 3 to the power n and this and that uh, can be can be cancelled out okay can be cancelled out and if you evaluate this one here you're going to find that this is going to uh, this is going to converge okay that is going to converge so it simply means uh, 7 is part of is part of the interval yeah 7 is part of the interval let's test for negative 1 so if you plug in with negative 1 here this is just going to be like uh, minus 1 plus 4 that is going to be positive 3 to the power n divided by n multiplied by 3 to the power n you can cancel out that we can cancel out that one there this is going to be like 1 over n of of course this is obviously uh, more like a um, um, a p series where the p here you observe to say um, you because of the value of the p that we have here you can actually tell to say this diverges because of the value of p that we have okay so the p that we have is a one meaning it uh, diverges so this is actually the final interval for the uh, for the first question that's how we get it so when you get it uh, from the radius you're just supposed to test the endpoints okay so let's look at uh, the second example okay let's look at the second example so uh, the second example is pretty it's pretty uh, straightforward uh, so you say from n is equals to 1 to infinity so for this one the numerator is x minus 1 to the power 2n minus 2 divide by um, divide by 2n minus 1 like that so now remember to say we are still uh, we are still applying the we are still applying the ratio test here okay so we are going to say uh, our a sub n I like writing it on the side for simplicity purposes so this is going to be like x to the power sorry x minus 1 to the power um, it will just still be the same 2n minus 2 then multiplied by uh, this will be multiplied by uh, x minus 1 to the power 2 that is when you add uh, that's that's when in place of n here you add uh, you replace with um, n plus 1 this is how it is coming about like you are saying x minus 1 to the power 2 open bracket n plus 1 minus 2 like that so you observe to say this is equals to x minus 1 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 2 so I'll not have to kind of like evaluate for that one because I know I have to cancel out this one at some point so I'm just going to uh, like use this two it's more like it's on the other side then write it like that okay so I'm just trying my level best not to complicate anything uh, and actually there is a factorial here um, is it yeah, I think there is a factorial here like that yeah so for the denominator with that factorial the presence of that factorial this is just going to be 2n plus 1 okay then um, what else are we going to have we're going to have 2n then we're going to have 2n minus 1 factorial that is when you add um, when you add uh, when you say 2n plus 1 minus 1 Okay, 
so this is just more like um, you're going to get something like 2n plus 2 minus uh, minus a 1 like that so you observe to say this is going to be like 2n plus 1 okay factorial so instead of using this you can actually use this it's one and the same thing so you need to be familiar with how you deal with factorials there very important okay so now you're going to say the limit uh, as n approaches infinity um, our, our, our a sub n plus 1 is x minus 1 to the power uh, 2n minus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 to the power 2 divide by uh, 2n plus 1 then 2n then multiply by 2n minus 1 factorial I'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n that's going to be x minus 1 to the power 2n minus 2 divide by uh, 2n minus 1 factorial like that no 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 I've scrapped them actually um, that was division so multiplication so you said 2n minus 1 uh, factorial divide by uh, we say x minus 1 to the power 2n minus 2 like that okay so now you can go ahead and do the cancel thing you cancel this one cancel that one you cancel this one and that one so one thing that you observe here is that if you evaluate this this is going to give you a zero how do you actually see this without even having to do a lot of work if you look at this this is the only part where I have n okay um, this is the only part that's going to give me n so you observe to say this is going to give you a zero okay so with the fact that you're going to get a zero one of the conclusions that we ha that we had uh, we said um, if if the limit okay if you watch if you watch the introductory video if the limit as n approaches infinity okay um, of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n if this is equals to 0 then the quick conclusion that you can make is that your error your radius is equals to infinity okay and the interval it's um, like you're going to have that the, your series is going to co converge for all values of x meaning from minus infinity to positive infinity that's your interval right there so these are one of the th uh, things that you can actually take advantage of such situations yeah so when is when the evaluation here gives you zero just know that the radius is infinity and the interval is from minus infinity to positive infinity meaning um, your series converges for all values of x so this is basically how we answer these two questions if there's um, any part where you still think you need some uh, clarity you can um, you can leave it you can leave it down in the uh, in the comment section or you can uh, actually inbox me on whatsapp uh, there's a whatsapp link in the description of this video itself thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one